Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of Beyond at the Desk. I'm here in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. I got a great video planned for today. We're gonna be going to Chichen Itza. We're gonna be checking out some beautiful reefs in El Cielo. And we're gonna be going to Tulum, many more. Check it out. All right, guys, we're here in Tulum. We're at the Tulum ruins. I don't know where the heck I'm going, but I just dropped off my bike rental, parked it. We're gonna go check out these ruins. After a short bike ride, <clears throat> well, it was like 15 minutes, I guess so. It was short, but we made it to the Cenote Calavera. So let's check it out. Ladies and gents, we are in the hotel district. I'm assuming this district's gonna be way more expensive, but you know, nice balcony, watch the sunset, toilet. All right, everybody, I made a friend over here. You remind me of your name, boss? Uh, Zach Alexander. Zach Alexander, pleasure. Yeah. I work with dudes who are like at the upper echelon of corporate America and they'd come in and be like, dude, why do I feel so fucking shitty? Alright, I am here in Cozumel. It's the start of day three. I'm looking for my tour to go to El Cielo. Drive around Cozumel, we just got done with the tour. I am thoroughly burnt, but you know, apply some sunscreen some aloe vera, and I am back at it. I am driving around the island. It's pretty nice. Not a bad little deal at all over here. I'll tell you what, I was a little nervous getting the motorcycle, but I think it's gonna be a good decision. I don't even wanna call it a motorcycle, a moped. It should be fun. going on an ATV tour but I guess a helicopter crashed here in the middle of the road and we're just stranded in the middle of the highway. <laughs> C'est la vie.
los que van a participar conmigo. Here in Chichen Itza, it's really cool learning about how advanced these people were. Their calendars are actually more advanced than ours, which is incredible to think about. Our leap years every four years, theirs is 52. It's just incredible being here and especially learning about how advanced they were makes it even more so. You, let's say you're an enemy, you lose, you would get sacrificed there. They'd break your back, they'd pull out your heart, and then they'd cut your head off. A pretty brutal way to go. But they say they break your back first, because after that, it, I guess, disconnects some pain, your pain sensors. I don't know if it's true, but, you know, that's what they say. I can imagine getting my heart ripped out would still hurt after breaking my back. That, the temple of the wind god. They say each side coordinates with a cardinal direction and they, based off of these structures they built, it coordinates with the lunar cycle. It's crazy to think that not only they knew the lunar cycle and the solar cycle, but they were also able to build buildings that reflected that. So we are in the town of Valladolid. It's a Spanish colony here in Mexico. Can't hear me because of the freaking birds. They're screaming. But anyways, this used to be a Mayan city, just like Chichen Itza. And the Spaniards had the Mayans destroy it. And they used the same stones to build this city. It's pretty cool. You can see the church there in the background. That's built with the same Mayan stones. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for this episode of Beyond the Desk. I'm about to check out of my Airbnb and head back to Texas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. We do trips um, all the time. I'm going to Japan next month, uh, Europe after that. So I've got some great stuff in the pipeline. Be sure to stay tuned. And my name is Charles Cole from Mexico. Signing off for now.